Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Pickup channel. So in this video, we will discuss Gensar interview question for automation test engineer three to five years of experience. Okay, so this is the latest question and one of my students said this question, so I'm going to share you guys. Okay, so let's move in the first question. Okay, so first question is, tell me about your experience, a skill, roles, and responsibility. Okay, so again, you have to tell about how you have made your profile. Okay, like if you are showing total five years of experience, right? And two years you are showing in manual testing and three years you are showing in automation testing. So you have to tell uh, your you know, relevant experience, like how you're like two years, then you have to highlight here uh, your strong point, right? Like I can give you the example of, I am very good in Java, right? So I can highlight, hey, I am very good in book concept. I am very good in the framework. I am very good in a string concept. So what will happen to what you will speak, right? So interviewer, interviewer is observing to you, and they will throw the same things to you, right? They will ask you the same thing because you have already told you have very good in uh, a string or collection. I want to give you one more tips, right? So we having the very less time for the interviewer, right? So you can try to highlight your strong point. Then what will happen? They will ask you the same questions and same topic they can ask to you. So what we can have, what 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 happened here? Here happened like that. You know whatever the, your a strong point are there, you can try to highlight that thing. Then we can spend more time with your a strong point. So this is the tips you have to follow. So tell me about yourself, experience, skill, and roles and responsibility. What you have to tell your name, your current organization your relevant experience, your skill is very important. You have to highlight. If you are showing the more experience in the automation, then you, then you have to highlight you know, your automation skill as well. Your current project. So your current project, so here you have to not explain each and everything about your project. Then you have to only tell what the domain you have worked and you have to tell what the frameworks you are using. So you, you should not tell in the depth if the interviewer will ask you, can you explain your project only, then you have to explain your domain, then you have to explain your framework as well. Here are the main top things is your roles and responsibility because they're going to match, you know, your roles, your roles and responsibilities are very important. Before, you know, if you are getting the call from the any interview, then what you can do, you can ask the requirement. If we be having the uh, like be having the requirement for automation, then you have to highlight your automation roles and responsibilities. Sometimes what will happen? We having the very less work in the automation. We having the more work in the manual. Then you have to highlight. So before you know when you are getting the calls, just you can ask what is your requirement. That is the another tips you have to take care. So this is the first question. Second question is, what is difference between implicit bit, explicit bit, and fluent bit? So again, this is a very common question, and they will ask you, what is the synchronization issue, right? And how to handle this? So we can use mostly the bit, bit statement to handle the synchronization issue. So here, how to explain this type of the question? First, you can tell the theory. Then you have to write the snapshot of the code. Okay, or interviewer will ask you, can you write the code for implicit weight, the explicit weight, or fluent weight, right? So what is the implicit weight? The implicit weight will tell the web driver to bet for a certain amount of time before throwing, you know, no such element exception. So implicit weight will wait for the complete doc, right? How to, this is the syntax of, you know, implicit weight driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit weight and it will accept two parameters timeout or time unit dot setting. I have given the example as well driver dot manage dot timeout dot explicitly weight. 
So this is my typo. So this is the implicit weight is a method. It will accept two parameter. And here we are passing two argument. You can see we are passing time out and we are passing the time unit second as well. Right. So this is your implicit weight, explicit weight. So what is the explicit weight? Just we can read this theory. The explicit weight used to tell web driver to wait for a certain condition. So here we are putting the certain condition. An expected condition is your class or maximum exceed before throwing an exception, like element not visible exception. So here, if you if you you have to wait for the uh, you know more than a second, then we should go for that explicit weight. Inside this explicit weight, be having the specific method to handle the access, exception. Explicit weight will handle for a specific element. So explicit weight is an intelligent kind of the weight. Let me drag up. Okay, so for weight, but it can be applied only for a specified element. Explicit weight give, give the better option uh, than that of the implicit weight, right? It will wait for the dynamic loaded ajax application or ajax element. How to create, how to develop this code for the explicit where we can create a web driver object class. So web driver is a class. We can create an object of the web driver and it will accept two parameter driver or beta statement. After that, we having the until wait dot until until is your method. Here we are passing expected condition dot visibility of element located by inside this expected condition. We having the many methods. Just you can do the practice, you will get the list of the method as well. So I forget to add this, you know, all the methods here, but just you can go and it will return. So we are holding this element by returning the web element. You can see here, here you can pass any element, means any X path or any locator. So it will wait for the specific time and it will wait for, you know, it will wait for the, uh, if you want to wait for a minute, more than a minute, then we should go for that, you know, explicit weight. The main advantage of the explicit weight, we having the many method inside this explicit weight, so we can handle this and it, it will wait for the specific element of the time. So explain this all the points, guys. So definitely this will helpful for you, right? And here I have given the a snapshot as well, and I have given the theory as well. So you can, you know, uh, make this, uh, answer properly okay so let me come here so what is the fluent weight so in the fluent weight we are also using some frequency okay apart from that everything is the same i like the explicit weight but here we are adding some frequency also and but the implementation is different okay the fluent weight is used to tell the web driver to wait for a certain condition as well as frequency which we want to check the condition before throwing uh, element not visible exception. How to set the frequency setting up to repeat a cycle with a time frame to verify, check the condition at regular interval time. So how to see, so what you have to take care, here you have to take care of what definition, then here you have to take care you know how to write the code because the interviewer will ask you, please write the code as well, right? So you can do the practice, then it is very easy, but your understanding is very important. So what is your interface here? Let me explain you. Okay. So you can see here, bet is your interface and this is your bet again variable and here, we are uh, here we are holding the fluent bit fluent bit object and it will accept the parameter web driver reference type okay here we have a method called with timeout pulling every second and ignoring so here just you can initialize the time how much like we have a 30 second this is your frequency right i am talking about of this so every if this is the 30 second is fixed then what will happen Every two seconds, it will check element is present or not. And this is your ignoring. Ignoring, it will ignore the exception. So let me come in the normal mode. Got it, right? So this is about your fluent weight. 
what is interface and abstract class so this is again very common question let me drag here okay common question here so what is the interface so interface is a fully unimplemented class which is used to declare a set of operation of an object how to create an interface why interface so interface is a keyword right interface is a types of the class how to create by using the interface keyword what is the interface interface is a fully unimplemented class from we can uh, inside this interface we are not doing any implementation only we are providing the declaration or we are defining the set of operation what is the set of operation inside this interface the set of operation we declare as a abstract method it is created by using the interface keyword it always created by root class of object creation process it contains public static final variable and public abstract method what is abstract class so abstract class is partial implemented class partial implemented class means you can define concrete class or you can define abstract class also what is the concrete class no, no sorry what is the sorry guys so inside this abstract class you can define concrete method not a class because abstract class is already class right so inside uh, abstract class you can define abstract method or concrete method that's why it is a partial implemented class for developing some of the operation of an object which is common to all next level of the subclasses just i can give you the example of that it is a partial implemented class used for developing some of the operation of an object which is common to next level of the class just i can give you one example real time example interface web driver we are declaring a set of operation and we have a some abstract class like remote remote web driver and you are implementing next level of the subclasses so i want to close every uh, browser right so the close implementation we can uh, uh, we can implement inside this abstract class so this is the common implementation if you have a common implementation we can implement inside this abstract class okay it is declare using the abstract modifiers abstract is your modifier it contains both abstract method and concrete method it contains variable block and constructor it is created as a subclass next to interface okay so this is the difference between abstract class and interface how to handle a scroll up and a scroll down in the selenium so we have a javascript executor is your interface we can do the casting here and inside this java uh, uh, java a script executor we have a method called execute a script so here we can pass the argument scroll zero so this will work is this will work like a x y coordinate okay it will work x y coordinate and just i have given the thread dot slip so as you are this just i'm waiting for that i'm going to check it is going to up and down you can see this up and down here we have used x and y coordinate and here plus and minus so this is will go up and down what is poc so poc means if you join in the any organization and your manager asks to you can you develop your framework okay so we have to just we can design our framework that poc one type of the documentation so you have to like i can give you one example just you are showing the demo to your customer or client just you have developed your framework that framework you have to make that documentation that is called proof of concept right so that documentation you made and you can show this your demo to your client or you can you can just this this documentation you can uh, also uh, you know uh, give to the client then if the client is okay then your poc is approved then after that you can enhance your framework or you can start to develop or you have to or you can use this framework in your project that is called your poc so proof of concept is a board technique term used in a various industry teams and uh, you know companies for poc to prove that their idea work in your real real world environment so i've just given the example so that's all these are the question they have asked in your gensar 
let me show you you will get if you are not aware if you are coming the first time in my channel so you can just go engineers tech hub channel so my channel name is engineers tech hub i'll show you some playlist if you are attending the interview that playlist is your very important you can just go through once okay so first playlist i want to show you we have a list of the you know we i have collected a top level of mnc interview question and answer if you are attending the interview you can try to you know you can you know you can take your interview yourself so we have a oracle next technology itc infosys tech all are the latest question you can just go through that for this question or you can note down you can do the practice for the same you will get more confidence before attending the interview let me show you another playlist that will also very helpful for you if you are a manual tester or if you are a non tech guy or if you are planning to attend or if you are planning to attend you are uh, trying to uh, switch your uh, job in automation testing profile so i have made some common interview question and answer like what the challenges you have faced in your project what is your roles and responsibility in your current project what is your day to day activity what is you know what is the agile methodology if you are a non tech guy and here i have also how to explain your framework here i have also mentioned what is what the challenges you have faced in your automation testing and how we are working in the you know in selenium project so and why we reject in the interview and how to crack the interview so this is very important playlist just you can go through this channel and this channel is very helpful for you guys if you want to brush up your java as well so you can get the many videos on the java you can get here some programming question top 10 programming question which is common for all the uh, uh, you know interview people will go and definitely they will ask you you can just go and you can prepare that so that's all guys for in this video if you have a uh, anything please reach out to me and comment below and definitely i will try to help you and lastly i will tell you please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon so if i will upload any new video you will get notification share with your friend and colleague and definitely you will get something in my channel please because i am spending the time on many people are struggling for real time interview of interview question and answer technical questions so just i am going to find you the solution how we can provide the solution to you guys have a very less chance to reject in your interview so thank you so much again please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification thank you see you in the next video bye bye